Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. So today I am vlogging. I'm on my lunch break right now. Um, and we got a few things to do today and I want to vlog since we're more busy. The more of a busier day. Oh, maybe that's not the box. No, that's not it. Um, so, um, yeah, so it's mostly our evening, afternoon kind of vibes today, but on the checklist, First and foremost is I've got to break down my office. Um, it's time. So as, as you guys know, I got a new job and I still haven't given back the equipment to my old boss. So that's on the agenda today. That's my keyboard, by the way. Um, and I need to find this box. I don't know where the box is, but she did give me a box. Um, I guess I'll have to get the printer back. Yeah, and just put our old one back. Um, missing I'm sure she'll let me know and I'll give it get it to her but it feels good it feels like a weight lifted off my shoulders and just to get all this out and I can get my guest room back and yeah so I'm gonna go eat lunch real quick and then we've got a she's gonna take me back to work actually and then put gas in my car because <laughs> it is like literally this much left all right so I am off work for the day actually for the week today is actually Friday um, and I have a drill this weekend, so I don't even get a weekend off, but <laughs> I need to start packing for drill. I am such a bad procrastinator when it comes to packing for drill. I will literally, and I'm also the type of person I've always been this way, where I will pack to the, or I will get up at the last millisecond that I have to, and then rush and get ready. And then I have a bad habit of not packing the day before for drill, and I will like have to rush and pack my clothes and then it's just annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack what I need for the weekend. For the most part, I always leave stuff in my bag anyways. This is the bag that I bring. Um, so I shouldn't be too much that I have to put in here, but I do have to put my toiletries and stuff, so. <sighs> yeah. This is the big bag that I bring with me. It has everything, cold weather stuff, sheets, I just leave that in there um, when we go like to stay at Fort Stewart or something. Um, and I'll just have, just keep the sheets in there. And then underwear, bras go in this little doodad thing here. So yeah, underwear, bras, stuff that I just keep pre-packed. I'll wash it and then just throw it right back in there. Obviously tan t-shirts. I'll actually, I have a uniform that I wear, like I'll get up and wear. And then this is just like an extra tan t-shirt. And a brush, lotion, cool. So at least got three pair of underwear, so that should hold me over. Two tan t-shirts, two bras, fuzzy socks, Ooh, makeup remover wipes. That's I don't really use this unless I'm like trying to refresh my face. Cause I do not wear makeup. But panty liners and this. Panty liners are essential. 
especially when it's hot and sweaty. So, you know, you just don't want to, you just want to feel as fresh as possible, especially for us girls. Guys just don't understand stuff like that. So, anyway, so, and then socks for when I change, and then I need to get like a night clothes out because I think I did not put it back in there. No. Okay. Oh, shit. but like the most annoying thing the most annoying thing about having a spouse that's in the military as well is not being able to find your clothes and we don't even wear the same size but still you just can't tell well really i have or i when we first moved in together when we were boyfriend and girlfriend I had everything organized, but y'all know men, they're not gonna keep shit organized like you would. So things would get all jumbled and mixed up and then I couldn't tell, obviously, what was mine. I've lost so many tan t-shirts because of my husband, because I cannot figure out what's what. And then eventually, like the we've been in so long, like the labels start to fade, so you can't tell who's who. Annoying. All right, I'm gonna lay out my boots for tomorrow. Put these in here. Uniform. I ended up getting um, kava actually for dinner, so I'm gonna enjoy that. This is like the blueberry raspberry or blueberry lavender tea that they have. I think it's a tea, I'm not exactly sure. And then I got a bowl as well. I always get rice, the basmati rice, arugula on top. Uh, harissa and the red pepper sauce I think yeah two scoops of harissa one thing of the red pepper hummus um, chicken and then like toppings and stuff and then the shook sauce so good it's new to our area so and it's really good it's like it's like a Greek chipotle cool. I just found like a whole bunch of napkins under here to find a a show to watch i just re-downloaded um disney plus so i can watch a few movies and then i'm canceling it so since netflix is tripping i'm still trying to decide if i'm going to keep the netflix my netflix account because if my family can't share it there's like no point because we all share it and then we pay for it not that it's expensive but it's just like now that we can't share an account like we're not going to pay for that all right hi you guys <laughs> Um, so I just made it back from drill weekend and I know I was I started a vlog and I just never actually finished the whole thing um, So it's so that this vlog is not too short. I'm gonna Continue and just finish like my afternoon here um, Or on this day. It's Sunday. So Hope you guys enjoy um, I just got home from drill and I am so tired. Kenny actually just went out with some of his family members um to celebrate his mom, I, we haven't actually we haven't talked about it at all. But his mom uh, was diagnosed with cancer uh, last the end of last year, and she just finished all of her treatment. Um, so they're celebrating tonight. He's celebrating with um, some of his siblings. Um, I decided to stay back because I'm just so tired. I just I need to take a shower and just woo and then also <laughs> edit this vlog. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do and just kind of wind down. It's been a very long weekend, and um, I've got work in the morning, so. That's what I'm doing here. Ever since I got off birth control, my skin, luckily it's not like on my cheeks like it used to be. Like if y'all don't remember, when I was in high school, well, you guys wouldn't know it like from high school, but high school in my early college days, I had acne so bad. Um, it subsided for the most, like a lot during college, but I still had it. Now it's like under here and I know it's hormonal. It's, I've always had hormonal, hor bleh, hormonal cystic acne out of the hurt. And in, ever since I got off birth control last year, 
Um, it's like slowly coming back. It sucks. I knew it was gonna happen, but I mean, it's not as bad, I will say. But anyway, so I've been trying to get like a good skincare regimen. If y'all have any tips, let a girl know. Literally, please. I, I will do anything to help clear skin. That's healthy. Anything that's healthy, so. Yeah, coming off the birth control is a scary thing when things come back that you haven't had in a while. <laughs> Actually, a lot more things came back that I got off birth control <laughs> that I hadn't had in a while, if you guys catch my drift. So, lately, I have been trying to like have a better gut and like get rid of bloating. So every time I eat, I try to like, um, and also get my greens in. So I've been doing, this is like the popular one. You can use any one that you want, obviously, but I've been using Bloom, the soup, the green and superfoods. It helps with digestion, bloating, and apparently energy. I've been using it for a little while. I got this from Target. You can get it off of Amazon actually, um, like a bigger one. This is like the only size I had at Target for $30. Um, so I try to take it every day, um, especially since I don't get like my veggie intake, obviously, I think I, I can say that for a lot of people, or a lot of people probably don't, but especially, like when I was a kid, we had vegetables every day, but at, when, as an adult, it's not something that I do every day, which is not good, obviously, um, but a New Year's resolution is definitely my husband to like get my greens in. Um, and just have like a healthier diet again like I'm almost 30 I'm not getting any younger and I need to like figure out my diet situation <laughs> this is this whisk I never used it I got this for my wedding and never used it hardly I use it now and just mix it up I also make my husband drink it because he has the worst stomach ever like low and he just has bad tummy issues so i always make him drink this when i do he's not here but he'll drink some tomorrow it's not terrible but it's not good <sighs> Oof. I like to have my clothes out for tomorrow, <laughs> everything ready so that I can get up as late as possible. I've always been that way, but especially for work. Uh, I used to do this for school, but now it makes it even easier because I don't have to actually like get dressed for work. I just wear scrubs every single day. So I'm gonna put them out, fold them neatly. Then socks. I've been wearing Kenny socks because it is so cold at work. One of our doctors likes to keep it extra cold. He's a believer in the cold, I guess. Why does he have this? Like, why do you have this in our bathroom? So I'm going to call it a night. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.